Namaste. Hello, and welcome. My name is Wildfire, and I just want to tell you that I am very grateful that you're here with me today. I want you to understand that this is a very loving and safe environment where everyone is appreciated and everybody's welcome and everybody's wanted. <clears throat> so today, our main topic of our Reiki session is going to be to increase inspiration, increase creativity, and remove any of those writer's blocks that we all experience from time to time. Before we do get started, I do want you to allow yourself to go into a state of peace, serenity, and just remember to let go, allow, and just be in the present moment. Okay. So before we begin, take a deep breath in and let it out. Deep breath in and let it out. Deep breath in and out. I want you to just begin by letting go of any and all worry that you may currently have in your life. Allow yourself to receive all the Reiki energy that you need at this current moment. Allow it to now open any sort of blocks that you may be having that may be causing your inspiration or your creativity to not shine as much as it is, as much as it does typically. Allow yourself to just go with the flow. Okay, so first we do have a stone that we're going to use. This is sodalite, and this is actually very good at boosting creativity and uh, opening up any kind of blockages that you may be having that are not allowing you to expose your true creative potential. So I just want you to open yourself up to the energy of this stone. Feel the beautiful radiance coming into you. Feel the blue energy surrounding you in your aura. Okay, now that you have successfully Open yourself up to this stone. I'm just going to set it in front of you so that it can continue working its magic. Next, we're going to be using lavender as well. Lavender was always also known as a plant and oil that 
can easily open up any kind of blockages that a person may have, especially mental ones. It is also very good to boost inspiration and creativity. Now we're just going to take a few deep breaths in and exhale. So, deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in. Now that you've done that, I'm also going to set this in front of you so that you can continue having that aroma around you so that you can open yourself up a lot uh, more uh, facile than normal. And then as always, we're also going to be using our trusty candle. And then we're going to be using matches. Sometimes I feel like when I do it so hard, it's just going to fly across the room. <laughs> Set something on fire. Okay. <laughs> so now I just want you to set your intention. What you would like, what kind of creativity you would like to open, and what kind of inspiration you would like to hit your life. Think about it. Feel it. Let it go into the candle. Allow the flame to carry it out to the universe, then back to you in a physical form. Okay. Alright, perfect. I'll set that in front of you as well. Okay. So now, just be very open in every thought that comes into your mind. Accept all of these symbols to easily go into your energy. Allow them to transform. 
transform your mind to allow your creativity to flow like a beautiful river now we're going to focus on your third eye on your crown chakra and your solar plexus and your sacral chakra just feel the energy allowing you to fall back allowing you to release any built up negative energy allowing you to be yourself once again Draw Jokure on your third eye. This is to help stimulate your inner self to allow all creative thoughts to just burst out. just want you to gently focus on what you want gently focus on what you want allow your creativity to just burst Feel the energy moving down to your solar plexus. Moving down to increase your confidence. Moving down to awaken your true power. should be feeling a tingly sensation at your solar plexus don't worry, this is just it waking up now let's bring it forward again, take a deep breath in and let it out Deep breath in and let it out. Deep breath in and let it out. Now let's move the energy down to your sacral chakra. Creativity can really fly. You should be feeling very beautiful warmth. Going down to your sacral chakra, stimulating it. Allowing it to work 
even better than before. Allow it to wake. Let your inspiration come out. Let your creativity truly be shown. relax. Feel as the creativity is finally waking up, showing you exactly what you need to do, exactly what you want to do. Now bring it forward. Bring it forward. Bring it up. Now let's have it rise into your crown so you can actually see it. You should be feeling the lightness and a warmth all around your body. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in and out. Okay, now, since we boosted a lot of it, we're going to just pull and pluck out any remaining little bits in your life that may be causing you to um, have those blockages and things that are preventing you from uh, coming to your true potential, okay? Don't worry, this won't hurt. Close your eyes. Feel the energy coming your way. Feel how light you have now become. Feel the true relaxation you are finally able to feel. Okay. <sighs> With every pull, should be feeling lighter and lighter. There we go. Get it out of your third eye so that you can see what you're capable of. It's a big one. Looks like there's still some gunk left. That's okay. We'll clean you out. All that negativity. your crown, pull out 
anything that is negative there. Just breathe and just allow all of this negativity to be pulled out. Now let's fill the voids with Reiki energy. You should be feeling warm. setting your face allow yourself to feel the Sidonius energy flowing all around you wave of energy coming right into your crown. Now we're going to just balance all of your chakras. Make sure they're all working and giving you the best Remember to continue to release any and all nefarious energy. Slowly but surely, understand that you do not need to live with it. You are now letting it go completely. It is gone. And your inspiration and creativity has now returned. Fluff your aura. Let's 
make it as beautiful as you are. Understand that you are loved, you are amazing, you are beautiful, and you are needed here. Don't for one second allow yourself to ever doubt that. Everyone has their purpose, and not one is greater than the other, because they're all great, one way or another. Now we're just going to use some Palo Santo. This is going to just enlighten and um, open up any spiritual waves. a lighter for this because it takes forever with matches. I love Palo Santo. It's probably my favorite type of smell so far. Inhale the beautiful scent that is Palo Santo. Okay. All right, my dear. I just want to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for joining me on this Reiki journey today. I will see you soon. I wish you well and for the greatest inspirations to enter your life today. Much love and light and Namaste.